Hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just doing some sledding today and going over today's science file. How do you beat someone in a sledding race? You definitely want to try this. You will need two containers and a slope. Okay, first you gotta get yourself a big container. <sighs> like here? And then you gotta get yourself a small container. I caught him. Haha, <laughs> there he is. And a small container. And now you have to pack both containers with snow. Uh, don't eat the snow. Uh, especially if it's yellow. Okay, now you're ready for your big galactic race between the big container and the little container. Of course, you don't have to use containers. You can do this with your friends. Just get one friend who weighs more than you or one friend who weighs less than you. Now, tip the containers on their side and you're going to roll them down the hill. Three, two, one, action. Whoa, the little one took off faster than the big one. Now, why did the little one go faster than the big one? Well, take a closer look at this. Gravity is pulling down with the same amount of force on both containers, but the container's weights are different. The more an object weighs, the more pressure it puts on a surface. The more pressure there is, the more friction there will be between two surfaces. Since the little container has less weight than the big container, there's less pressure pushing down and thus less friction to slow the container down. The bigger container has more weight and puts more pressure on the slope, thus creating more friction, which is why the smaller container moves faster than the bigger one. If you weigh more than your friend does, all you have to do is lie down on the sled. Your weight will be spread out over a bigger area and you'll create less friction. So now you know all about friction. You know, studying friction to win a sledding race against your friends is why science is so cool.